News 12 senior investigative reporter Walt Kane is in your corner looking at the threat and what can be done about it. There were no final exams at Tenafly High School last spring. The entire school district's computer system was crippled. Files held hostage in a ransomware attack. This is something that we should have expected to happen at some point, and we should have been prepared for it. From the Colonial Pipeline to one of the tri-state area's largest hospital systems, no one is immune from ransomware attacks. But a leading cybersecurity expert tells Kane in your corner the threat could soon get much worse. Five to ten dollars and you're in business as a cyber criminal. That scares me. Schober took me on the dark web, where hackers are now selling do-it-yourself ransomware kits. Everything from the malware to instructions on how to use it, with prices as low as $3.99. Some are more pricey, $1,000 here. Right. We're a, a full-blown malware virus kit, but here, $13. You can go in there, modify it, tailor it to your own type of targeted hack. All of it paid for in Bitcoin, so both the internet traffic and the payments are virtually untraceable. How much damage could an average person do if they got their hands on one of those ransom? Does oh. it require technical knowledge? No, and that's the part that, that kind of amazes me. Go back a few years ago, and we talked in the past a lot about this, and it did take a, a, a cyber criminal that had a lot of advanced skill sets. Now, it could be somebody that's a basic hacker. Most ransomware hackers attack businesses or government agencies, but some do go after people like you and me. So what can we do to protect ourselves? Well, experts say don't click on links unless you know what they are. Also, use strong antivirus software and pick passwords that are long and strong. Also, combine those passwords with two-factor authentication. That means you have to type in a code on your cell phone. Finally, change the default password on your router and other devices. These basic things are good cyber hygiene, and we need to all do this just to keep safe from falling victim for, from a ransomware attack. In your corner, Walt Kane, News 12.